Hi, in this hint today, I'm going to talk about how you should set the orient global variable when you use the polyumod uh, library and abacus with anisotropic material models. So if you have an anisotropic material model and you have uh, abacus as your FE solver and you use a polyumod material model, then you should really think about the orient parameter in the global para para variables here. So I opened the polymod manual to section 211, and it says that the first 16 uh, variables in the polymod uh, variable list are global parameters. They're global variables to specify certain settings that the polymod library will follow as you simulate it. And if you have an anisotropic material model, you should be careful about one of them, as I will talk about here. So I'm going to scroll down in this uh, documentation here to uh, this particular parameter here, orient flag. So today we're going to talk about Abacus standard, starting with that. It says that if you are running an Abacus standard and your material model is viscoplastic and anisotropic, then you should set the orient flag to be either two or three, depending on if you have a store orientation. And typically you do. So I have a little test case here. So here's an Abacus IMP file. Uh, it's a test case here containing one single element, as you can see. And I do have a store orientation defined here um, based on the nodes. And then uh, I have that uh, designed here to be part of the solid section. And as you can see, another hint that I want to mention as we're talking about this, that when you use the polyumod material models, you typically want to use an enhanced hourglass controlled it's typically what you use for hyperelastic based material models anyway uh, when, when you run a reduced integration point material uh, calculations in Abacus standard. So in this case, uh, we have a, a orientation defined here, and then uh, we have uh, the orient flag to be four. So that's the parameter number 10 here. So that's why I set it to be number four there. Um, the reason why this is important is that Abacus, when it calls a user subroutine, like the polyumod library, it doesn't actually tell the subroutine if the, uh, the user had specified the local coordinate system or not. But that's important because if a local coordinate system is used in your Abacus input file, then Abacus also rotates deformation gradients in a, in a different way than it does if than if you didn't have a local coordinate system. And there is no way for Polyumo to know that because Abacus never told it about it. So that's why it's important to manually set this, base it on if you use a store orientation or not in your simulation. If everything is isotropic, uh, then you can simply just use orient, orient equal to zero, which is typically what people do, and that's a default setting. But if you have an anisotropic material model, then you should set it based on the table here. Um, and um, the similar uh, flags are also applicable for uh, Abacus explicit and ANSYS, as you can read about here. So keep that in mind if you're running an anisotropic material model in Abacus and you use a polyumod material model, then uh, think about this orient flag and set it properly based on what I've described here. If you have any questions, uh, write them below.